Hi, <laughs> Tia Glitch everyone. What's the crack? Lovely here. Welcome back. What's up? What's up? What's up? First off, Saz apologized for I just came back off a photo shoot. I'd already go to the door. I was like, I must record. Um, and I just sorry, I just can't stun myself with red lipstick. Wow. <laughs> with red lipstick on. I just don't like it. I don't think it suits me. I think the red or something cancels out the green in my eyes and I think it looks off. I know it suits a lot of people with my colouring, with dark hair and eyes, but for some reason with me, I just don't think it's a vibe. Wearing red is fine, but I think red lipstick for me, not my thing, you know? But I know a lot of people disagree with me, so that's my dilemma for today. But it's gonna, I was gonna fix this, but I'm gonna go to the gym in a while, so it's fine. We're fine. But anyway, do you get your guys crack lady here? Welcome back. So today we are going to be reacting once again to SB19. I know I have to do the I Want You music video. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. I was actually gonna do it today, but this song just came out and I want to hear it because I know when I go online it's gonna be everywhere and I don't want to ruin it for myself. Where I want you, I've heard, I just haven't seen the music video, but I have heard it. My mic isn't plugged in again. What is wrong with me? Okay, I have to be fast because my phone is running out of battery and I can't plug it in because I plug it in, I have to plug the mic out, which I am using. So we're gonna do this right here, right now. Here we go. Asia World by SB19 and Sarah. Very excited for this. I will be reacting tomorrow SB19. I have not not been reacting to them. I've just been doing a lot of P-pop events which involve SB19. So then I feel like I've done videos on them and I actually haven't, so my bad. Here we go. I'm not work screen recording. Oh my brain, lads, what is wrong today? Wow. It's because I was on shoot. Anyone who's ever like does shoots or has been to photo shoots, you know how sporadic everything is. You feel like you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, here we go. Come on, we're doing egg egg look today. Love, love it, love it, love it. Now's the time for us to take control. No matter what you do, you gotta Whoa, I was not expecting you to start like that. I was expecting you to be like slow or like I love you. You get all skeptical, you better skeptical. step into the light to find the might to let your spirit glow. Now's the time for us to take Okay, one well, okay rock. Essence. Sounds like the opening of an anime. No, tell me this would not be the opening of an anime. I'm telling you right now, this is the opening of an anime. One Piece, Gear Five, <laughs> anyone? <laughs> Which isn't an insult, by the way. Anime has some of the best music ever. Like Bluebird, Naruto Shippuden, Bluebird. That the hold that had on me as a teenager. Hey! Yes, we do. We got the power, guys. Whoa! Come on, Ken. <laughs> Ken said, don't deny me, bitch. <laughs> Come on, Pablo! Hey. I know who I am, I don't need to prove it. Oh, that skeptical where Ken went down and they went high. Wow. Kings do not need to be crowned. Girl, bitch, man, woman, they, them, gays, yes. True, sorry, I don't know why that was true. <laughs> true kings do not need to be crowned because we all know that the kings are P-pop. Hey. Hey. Oh. 
Ó, oh, Sara! Play, please. Yeah. Yeah. Acer! This is way too good to be an advert. Like, where is this on the we? Take control no matter what you do. You better ace your world, better ace your world, better ace your world. You better ace your world. I would like to hear her voice mixed in with styles, like a mix of the high notes. I think they would have felt very fit, fit, fought, fit, fit, fit very well together. <laughs> this is way too good for an advert. Girl, I'll be in the club, be like, hey, sir. <laughs> Who, like, wait, give me the Grammy. That's way too good song. That's English. Just fucking hell. That's way too good of a song to be just an advert. Like, this needs to be, like, single. Screw Acer. <laughs> we need Sarah and we need SB19 on a single. This is a single. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I feel like you know what I mean. It's fine. Okay. I am well aware the boys are on tour. No, I will not be reacting to anything on tour because I'm hoping to see them on tour. I don't know when, where, who, what, where, why. But I am hoping at some stage to see them. I can't say that. Be patient. And I will hopefully see you guys soon. Patient. There's a lot of people working behind the scenes. I can promise you that. Uh, we're trying. Uh, stay patient. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to stay safe out there. Make sure to watch Facebook channels, watch your house. And see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Have fun. Dance this around your house because this is way too good for an advert. Okay. Hi guys. So I honestly had no intention of recording a video right now as you can see i'm just at home cleaning my apartment it's like an off day for me um but my dad sent me something that i really want to share with you guys and i want to get my genuine reaction um reactor so i don't know if you guys know this but my dad used to be in a band he used to write songs so my dad has over oh my god four or five hundred songs that he's written so that's one of the reasons why i love listening to different kinds of music because growing up in the car with us we didn't really like listen to what was on the radio we listened to dad's songs so i grew up on my dad's music and it's where my love and like appreciation of just any kind of music comes from because it, I doesn't need to be popular or mainstream for me to like it and um, if I resonate with it I resonate with it but my dad wrote a lot of songs um two of which are my favorite two of my favorites are songs he actually wrote for his kids so one of them he wrote when I was born and a little backstory is I was born very very sick and my sister is um cerebral palsy she had a lot of health issues and unfortunately um, when i was born it was kind of a similar situation so i was supposed to be born in october and i ended up being born in august and um, 94 90s good um but i also had a brain hemorrhage and i was at uh, two pounds three i was the size of a bag of sugar i was extremely premature uh, we had a lot of health issues and um, i had to have a blood transfusion so my parents basically I didn't have a name because it was so last minute like I was six weeks premature so on all my baby photos for the first couple of days and um, because my mom was in recovery it was cesarean I was called baby burn because my last name is burn so my dad wrote a song called baby and it's about me I guess and then obviously I grew up healthy thankfully 
and um you know they essentially at one stage in their life did think they were going to have two kids with um severe disabilities and that wasn't the case but my dad wrote this song when i was called baby and he wrote it when i was born so i haven't heard this song in a long time um it's been years probably over 10 years and also i don't live at home anymore i actually live in dubai all my family is at home in Ireland and I'm very close with my dad, very close to my family. I have two tattoos on my body that are dedicated to my dad, one being a music note because we really connected in like my tough years as a teen when I was being rebellious with my dad over music. It's something we always have a connection over. It's something that even my sister who's nonverbal, she resonates with music. She's able to communicate almost in a way through music and become happy. So it's music is a huge thing in my family. It always has been. That's why I'm so passionate about it. But I really want to share this with you guys, the song my dad wrote for me when I was a baby and get my reaction because I am probably going to cry. I have a feeling I will because I don't live at home anymore. I haven't seen my parents now in a while it's been i think christmas last year um you know and i miss them and it's it's also august it's also my birthday month my birthday's 29th of august so it's almost been you know 20 plus years since my dad wrote this song and um almost to the date so um yeah i just want to share it with you guys because i'm just yeah let's just get into the video my face is very greasy i've been running around cleaning but um i just turned you guys a little bit so but please, like i don't have my usual setup I don't even have like my tripod, I have nothing set up. I literally was cleaning and my dad sent me this and I sat down and I was like, I have to do a video on this. So please ignore my setup isn't the way it usually is, professional, but uh, we don't need that. I just really want to share this with you guys. Even if I don't post this, I want this for my own saying. So here we go. This is a song my dad wrote for me called Baby. Oh my God. This is literally like from my WhatsApp. Like my dad just sent it to me. So here we go. Oh my God, I'm nervous. I'm already getting emotional. Oh, I'm so gross and sweaty. <laughs> that I have is down my back and it's actually a quote my dad said to me growing up and it's something I've always <laughs> it's words I've always lived by um because I was going through a really bad time at the time and my dad was traveling for work he was living in Poland he had to keep traveling back and forth and I couldn't see him and um he gave me the best advice I've ever heard and I have a tattooed on my back and to remind me it's words I live by it's um Something that's always kept me motivated or something that's always kept me, you know, wanting more and always inspiring to do more. And um, just even at that, like he, the words that he wrote there, um, like she could have me and full of doubt. And like I really did. And he really like, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Just close your eyes and recall all those good times you're given. I'm curious 
I haven't forgotten it. Oh, I look like an absolute state. Oh my goodness me. Wow. She is beauty. She is grace. Be proud of your face. That's <laughs> my dad said. Um, my dad has amazing music. Honestly, I'm not to say not to be biased. He really is such an incredible lyricist. Um, I've always been so proud of his work and um, I don't think I've ever shared it. So if you guys really want to, if you want to see more, please let me know because my dad did write songs for all of his kids and one of them was my other favorite song for my sister whole heart and um we have been through a lot as a family probably more than most families to go through with her and um, um it's taught us a lot of lessons a lot of life lessons and um, i'm very lucky to be in a position where you know i can learn the value of family and or watch family to you very early on in life but my um my dad did write a song for my sister it's called alive and it is probably my favorite song ever and um, it makes me cry every single time i heard it and i haven't heard it in a long time since probably i've listened to this music because i just i find it so nostalgic and sentimental that i knew when i moved away from home if i tried to listen to anything i would have been like this but if you guys want to hear see alive and hear it please let me know because i'd love to share it with you and i also have one other song that was not written by my dad, but it was written about me by somebody else. And um, that person had reached out to me and said, would you ever be interested in doing a reaction to the song? And I said, yeah, sure, but we just haven't really gotten a chance to do it around it. And I wasn't sure how to fit that into my channel. But if it's something you guys are interested in, please let me know, because I do have another song that was written about me. We'll get into that later. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. It's a very special moment for me. Um, it means a lot and I am just an emotional wreck now so I'm gonna go. <laughs> 